Okay, well, this is day three of my experiment, trying to document by video my 30, minimum of 30 minutes a day for 30 days painting challenge. I hope you've been enjoying it. It's been fun for me. It's fun during this um, coronavirus homestay time period to have something to look forward to. I wake up in the morning excited to get started and thinking about what I'm gonna do next. So this is just a brief introduction, but um, I wanted to show you what the painting looks like um, now that the paint has dried. So this was after the initial first wash that I did yesterday, which was the wet and wet technique. And you can see it dries, um, you know, looks a little different. Dry. And um, I'm pretty pleased with the way it turned out. Um, some of the, the effects that are going on, I normally try to avoid, but I've been looking at a lot of other people's work. And again, as I mentioned earlier, I'm trying to loosen up, not be so literal and uh, allow the watercolor technique to do what it does best, which is very unpredictable. So that's the intro. And now I'll get my equipment all set up to do, I think um, today I'm going to do a time lapse and I'm going to set it up so that you can see it, it'll, you know, obviously with time lapse, I'll be working slower and the video will look like I'm working fast. So just take that in mind when you're watching time lapse that you can't work that fast or it'll be sloppy, messy. And my goal for today is to do the initial step or two of what's called negative painting or negative space painting. And that is instead of painting the object or the shape, in this case of the flower or the leaf or the stem, I'm actually gonna be painting the space in between the leaves, in between the petals, in between. And um, so there are a couple artists out there that I greatly admire that I follow on Facebook and their blogs and things like that. And uh, they do amazing work. There's some, um, I don't know why it seems to be women, but there's a couple of women artists um, that I really admire and have, I've followed some of their demos and they're the ones that got me started with this whole idea of negative space painting. And so that's what I'm going to do today. And you'll be able to see that this first layer I did um, sets the tone for the direction of the next phase, which is, I guess, true of all paintings. <laughs> all right, well, I'm going to pause this now and get all set up, and then I'll start with um, today's little mini demo. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> 